Hi, my name is Alec Ross. If the story of the last 20 years was the story of digitization, uh, the rise of the internet, I wrote a book to describe what's next. The last 20 or 30 years have been very difficult economically for a lot of people. And I don't think that life is going to get in any easier. Changes in technology and in science are going to change the way that we live at home and the way that we work. And so part of what I did in writing this book is trying to light a little path so that people can understand the forces that are going to shape our future for both good and bad. And my hope is that with this information, people have some tools to be able to make better informed decisions for themselves and for their children so that they can have a sense of what's coming. After working as a school teacher, uh, I had the sort of the, the classic entrepreneur story. When I was 28 years old, I started a company in a basement. It was myself and three friends. And we grew our company from being four people in a basement into a pretty large global enterprise. And it was from that that Barack Obama, who was running for president the first time, asked me to run media and technology policy for his presidential campaign. That went well, and it, well, it, it went well at Hillary Clinton's expense. So she then asked me to work for her for four years. And so I've had this interesting path from being an entrepreneur to running technology and media policy for Barack Obama's presidential campaign to working as a senior advisor to Hillary Clinton for four years. That's given me this interesting view into the forces that are shaping our future all over the world. Now, when people ask me about Italy, I should first say I'm not objective about Italy. I say that Italy is mio secondo paese. Uh, my own roots are from Abruzzo. This is where my family is from. And so when I think about Italy, I am more optimistic than I am pessimistic. I know that the economy in Italy has been difficult over the last several decades. But here's what I know. I know that there is as much genius in Italy as there is in Silicon Valley. The difference is that even though the talent has been in Italy, the opportunity has not. And I've come to believe that talent is universally distributed, but opportunity is not. And part of why I wrote this book is to create opportunity where it hasn't existed before. Americans, people who are imagining and inventing these big companies in Silicon Valley, are no smarter than Italians. Uh, the difference is they have more information and they have more tools that they can use to start and grow these companies. And part of what I hope with this book is that particularly young people, people in their 20s, in their 30s, and their 40s, will read it and have the confidence and have the information uh, to think about starting their own businesses, to think about what to invest in, and to help make Italy have a more prosperous tomorrow uh, than today or yesterday. Thank mm -hmm. you.